Hi there and welcome back to John's Sports Shouting for a very impromptu recording. You've seen my recording from earlier on today. I'm still at it today. I've got a lot to do tomorrow and I won't be able to record. So I thought I'd get another quick one in here. Right, so this is a watch from Escapement Time. I've never dealt with them before. I've heard some good things about them and I love the look of this watch. Very bead blasted. Got obvious looks from other famous watches. I really do like it and I like those shark teeth looks around the outside there. Very unusual for this style of watch. This one is, as I said, from Escapement Time. It's a 38mm diameter watch with 11mm of thickness, 47mm lug to lug, 20mm in lug width. All good stuff so far, but even better than that, it has that Seiko VH31 movement in it. And the batteries required there are the 371 or the SR920SW. Very common batteries. Imagine these things last for two to three years. It has a screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance, and it also has Super Luminova as well. And for the kind of price that they're looking for this one, £41 and a few pennies, I think it's worth anyone's money. It doesn't have sapphire glass, it does have K1 glass, and it has AR coating on it as well. It's a really good watch for the price, I think. Get really good looks, it's just a beater, and uh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, there you go, there's a Luminate. So I've ordered one, it's on its way. I think that's a really good little option there for £41. And uh, that's the first watch out of this list. Let's go on to the next one. And the next one is actually a new release from Haddy's Dive. And I love the look of this one. They're calling this one Enamel Grey. I've never seen a colour like that before. I really do like it. It's not quite champagne, I don't think. But I really do like this one. I do like my Haddy's Dive just now. I'm a big fan of them. They do some really nice things. And I like the specs of this one too. Of course, it's the MYH5C, so it's an updated model of the old H5, NH35 movement in it, 316L stainless steel, round about 47mm in diameter, but a shorter lug to lug, 15mm thick, 22mm lug width, AR coated, synthetic sapphire, as we all know, really, really cool watch, BGW9, 120 click, unidirectional bezel, yeah, what's not to like with this one? It looks really cool, and I do like that different face on it. It just looks absolutely stunning. This one's £106, but it does have some coupons in the store just now. And this store I deal with all the time. They are very cool. And I've actually got this one on the way. As you can see, there are store coupons, but you have to spend a certain amount. I think you'll get half the price of that coupon there. Um, but certainly one to watch either just now or when the sales do come. Yeah, I really do like this one. 300 meters of water resistance allegedly as well 15 millimeter thick as i said and a hefty bugger at 203 grams right let's move on to the next one and the next one is extremely colorful it's from san martin it's absolutely it looks like a melon fruit or something i don't know what you would call that one but goodness me look at the color of it and it's actually luminous as well this is super luminova on the, the dial of the watch full loom I've never seen that one before, and we've got a free limited edition nylon strap with this one. Go strong colours. Look at that. <laughs> something else. Something to chew you up in the winter. You've got the date wheel there at the 6 o'clock. Of course, it's the GMT NH34. Priced quite heftily, but there's only 99 pieces of each one of these colours here. So that's why they're asking that price. Might be something to wait for in the next sale. But I just thought I'd deprive you of this one just now and let you see what's out there. And as you can see on the back of this watch, they've even got a little bespoke case back in this one with the palm trees, etc. Oh, that's really cute when it's going to be snowing and freezing here in the winter. But that's really, really cool. Let's have a proper look down here. Avocado green beach style, that's what they're calling it. High quality themed nylon strap are for free. And uh, there we see down here, what we got is the model number SN0116-3, 20mm lug width. Oh, nice set of dimensions on it as well, 39.5mm in diameter, 100 meters of water resistance, stainless steel, obviously. And uh, yeah, you're going to be looking at the usual 465 lug to lug And GMT is going to be that NH34 screw-down crown, screw-down case back, 136 grams, AR coating, sapphire. And you're looking at 136 grams all in with this one. That's not bad at all. So that is the next one that's on the list. Right, moving on to the next one. Now, this is uh, one I haven't actually seen before. Coming out on my list today is from 2023, allegedly. I haven't seen it before. I haven't seen it on YouTube. And it comes in five or six different colours. This is a Corjo Diver, 41 millimetres with a sapphire glass. And I like the look of this one. It comes in many different colours. It looks a rather pleasing business style dive watch, a desk diver if you will, NH35, 
Let's go down and see if there's anything else in here. 41 millimeters, 14 millimeter thickness, 316 L stainless steel, 20 millimeter lug width. I looked for this earlier on, but I cannot find a case length in this. But I imagine it's around 47 to 48. But there you go. There is the look of the watch there. I think that looks very smart. It's got very much a, a Tissot look about it, I think. An engineer style bracelet there. Born noble and distinguished. Well, if you're passing watches or giving birth to watches, better you than me. That must be quite painful. Right. We have a date wheel at the 3 o'clock. 100 metres of water resistance. And it's the model number 2063. Sapphire glass. Just confirming it there as well. Function date luminous. I don't think that's a luminous date wheel. I think they mean basically that the hands and the indices are luminous. And I think it's BGW9 Superluminova. On it. So that is another watch there, and that one's only coming in at £40, reduced from £97 or so, allegedly. So that looks to be a pretty cool watch as well. And now to the final watch. This is more of a surprise. This is the Proxima 1711. I reached out to Proxima two or three weeks back to ask him if there was anything new. They sent me this watch before anything was known about it. I have it here. Here are some pictures of the watch just now. And as you can see, it's nothing like the original homage at all. They've taken their own artistic license with this one. The whole dial is changed up. The way that the hands, the indices are shaped, the way they're put together, the surrounds on them, they're all different. The dial is different. The bezel is completely different on this one. And you do have the same case and bracelet as is on the PX1697. And that's a light capture case. So basically, it's the best of both worlds. And as you can see, it wears it really, really well on the wrist. If there's one thing I would have said about the original X and Dow, is it did wear rather large. And after a while, I did get bored with that misaligned pip. It really annoyed me. And the fact that the crystal was very opaque at times, it was quite a poor crystal. That's not what you get in the Proxima. It's certainly a lot clearer to see. And it has that air of quality about it. Not quite a true homage, but it is its own thing. And it's 191 just now with £12.58 off. And there are a few different colours there as well. Let's have a little look and see if we get any pictures there. There's some of the specs on the watch. You get uh, two movements, PT5000 or the Salita SW200. It's 11.8mm thick, so it's quite a thin watch. 39mm diameter, and it's only 45 lug to lug as well. BGW9 Superluminova, 200 metres of water resistance. And it's just good that I've got this in hand. I'm reviewing this one as we speak, and the review will be out in a couple of days. So really good looking watch, this one. When you see it in the flesh, it certainly is not what you expect. Now to finish off, I'm just going to give you one more piece of information. As you know, Cestrian watches are about to release their new version 2s of their Dive Series and Master Series watches. I've seen a quick snippet of their Dive Series. It looks really cool, a brand new colour. I've also seen a snippet of their Master Series as well. And they've taken on board what we said last time with the V1. And that looks really cool also. But I also have here pictures of their new Field Series. And here are the pictures here just now. These look to be very, very cool. They look like watches we know and love. They're going to be priced very competitively. They're due to drop imminently. I don't have any prices yet. I will be informed. I'll keep you in the loop. But it's just to keep on the lookout for them. If you go to Cestrian Watches, I will leave a link in the description below for you. If you just follow the link and you can sign up for their newsletter, basically they'll keep you apprised of everything that's going on and you'll get that information when you need it. So really exciting news for this one. I'm looking forward to it. They were very good watches, very cost effective. And I'm just looking forward to seeing what they do with the version 2s especially. And this field watch because as you know, I just love field watches. And I'm in the market for one as well. So that's it for today guys. I'd just like to say thank you very much for listening to my inane drivel for the last 10 minutes or so guys. I really do appreciate it. And please remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell. And I will catch you on the next one. Ta-ra for now.